Welcome, welcome, welcome. Some serious highlights from last night. The chemistry is coming, guys. It is coming. Not just for P and Yakov here. It's also coming for Scotty and Yakov. It's nice to see. Some good minutes. Caribbean night last night. If anyone was there and got a t-shirt, feel free to toss it my way. I'd be awfully uh, thankful. And boy, was Chris Boucher ready to run, 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 run away. This is disgusting. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna rewind it for you and show you the Pelicans cast from last night. CJ, top three, real short. And Boucher comes out running. Boucher, look out. This video is dedicated to all of you that have been going back and forth with me about Jeff Downton Jr. and him getting some run before the end of the season. I've had the pleasure of watching Jeff play at the 905 all year, and as I say to Lionheart here, there's a lot to love about Jeff. For me, it's his poise and the fact that he's a total ball hawk. I love that he fits the system so well, and he makes use of every touch he gets out there and doesn't complain in between touches. You can see why they really went after him. I always point out the fact that he's been with Milwaukee and Golden State before us, so that's three out of the last four championship teams. That's something that says, hey, we're not the only team that recognizes what Jeff Downton brings. We're gonna go through play-by-play -play all of Jeff's minutes in the entire game and talk about how he played, but first, a little bit of housekeeping. I got two videos I'm almost done editing. The first is on hit jobs and our toughness, like our team physicality. It's a double-edged sword. We're gonna have some fun looking at that and different players around the league in regards to technical fouls. It should be a really fun video. I got some great clips. And then the second one has to do with some narratives that I expect to be coming up for the Raptors, and that's the minutes narratives. So we were always talking about playing guys too much. But I also want to take a look, a deep dive into how the minutes have been distributed this year and see if there's any credence to this notion that we don't use our bench, because I think it's bullshit. So I think there's some red sauce there. Those are the two videos. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe so that you get notifications. But before we go any further, I have to immortalize this Boucher dunk on my channel because it was a great dunk. But what I want you to see is what happened just before it. And then we're going to take a look at hustle play and then we'll see the dunk again. Brandon leaves it. Popped out of bounds by Bobby Boucher, who just came into the game. <laughs> okay, okay, so Pell's announcer's having some fun here with the Boucher name here, Bobby Boucher. Good one. But Chris has been telling himself a mantra lately. What is it again? Dunk the ball. He's dunk seven the ball. foot. Dunk the ball. Dunk it. Yeah. If you get that one, you get that one. And so less than three minutes later, game clock, we get this. Real short. And Boucher comes out running. Boucher, look out. Right. I said that sequence at the end of the third of the big dunk. And yeah, that was pretty cool. Three. Yeah. What, what is a, a sequence like that or, or yeah. a stretch? Like I mean, that's that that's that? that's Chris, right? I mean, he's just he's gonna he's gonna make some spectacular plays. He's gonna do them at both ends. He he makes he makes something happen. Right? Isn't always good, but tonight there was a sequence there where they were great. Right? So he makes things happen and plays with tremendous energy, and that that is, you know, what we what we need from him off the bench. Were you taken off from a stump too far? Nope. He always dunks those. I've seen I've seen that many times in practice. I love that they ask him if they were worried he took off from too far out, and Nick Nurse is like, "No, I've seen him do that all the time." He was just fine. I love also that Nick Nurse points out that he does it at both ends of the court because this is how Boucher finishes that quarter. Defeat here in Toronto. Final shot for the Pels. Nachi blocked away by the length of the guy who just slammed it home, Chris Boucher. We'll have to see if the Pelicans announcers make any Bobby Boucher jokes next trip. Now I trust every other media outlet to cover Pascal and Pirtle. What a game for both of those guys. I'm not gonna get into them. I do wanna cover one narrative that I, I know is gonna get misconstrued and that's you'll see Precious hiding in the thumbnail here. Because we were winning in the third quarter by a significant enough margin to cushion us, Precious got some really valuable time with the ball in his hands. He made some good decisions and some bad decisions. I think once this midi comes, it's gonna be great. It's nice to see him putting it up there on the rim where his his boys can go get it afterwards. It, but you will pick it up. He barges his way to it. Yeah, he created space. So don't let anyone fool you about Precious. I thought his minutes were really valuable for the team as a whole tonight, even though they didn't necessarily show up in the statue. 
All right, without further ado, let's go through Jeff Downton Jr.'s minutes. Okay, so Jeff enters the game at 419 in the first, and he hands the ball off to Pascal Siakam. And right away, Pascal draws two, and Downton has no gravity. No Pelicans are on him. So watch what he does here as he drags himself through the paint. Three Pelicans are forced to react to him streaking through here. Downton just came into the game with a fall away, and Siakam's got the length to do that. Okay, so Raps get a defensive board here, and Precious is going to end up turning over the ball. Watch Downton as he tracks down the ball carry. He makes a good play, even though the Pelicans score. Tough pass. What a lead. Boy, Jose. Okay, this one's a good pass by the Pelicans, but Jeff is the deep man here. He's supposed to get back. I'd like to see him sprint back, because this is the outcome. Again, he makes a nice play on the ball, but they still score. Ultimately, he should just be in a better position to begin with here. Now on the run, and it'll be catch. another. That's a great catch. Unbelievable catch by Trey, and another long distance delivery. But Brandon Ingram. More than two to play. Achua, good rotation by Ingram. Doughty freed up. So Doughton gets it. Two-way player out of Rhode Island for them, and a guy that wasn't drafted either. Okay, so ball at the other end, and this is one of the first good defensive sequences for Jeff. So he navigates the screen already. He takes the switch. He's on Alvarado. He's gonna. They're gonna switch again. So he's gonna be on Angram. Watch what Angram does. He baits him, but Jeff contorts his body. Raptors secure the rebound. Really good defense. Okay, other end. Watch how he uses the precious screen to get Alvarado to move, but he waits for Najee Marshall to move to open up OG. Watch. Boom. Ananobi. Better arc. And these are the types of things you notice with Down is all these little, little things. Where do you see some of the communication and hand gestures coming up? Yeah, it's all the little things. So here you see him communicate with Pascal on the switch. And then you see him hunt the passing lane while keeping tabs on his man here. I think it's Murphy. It gets a little sloppy here. And if anything, Jeff stands ar around a little bit after the ball goes up. Like, he should be sprinting back now. Pascal makes a good play. Again, the Pelicans with these deep outlets passes. They do recover, and it gets sloppy. He contests this guy. But then look at the responsibility they give to Downton. So watch what he does. He's communicating with the bench right now, and he tells them, hey, the bench wants a two-for-one. So Pascal hoists one up. Again, the Pelicans burn the Raptors here. They burn us in transition like all night long. But you get a feel for like how communicative Downton is. He's a leader, and he's poised. I think that's the, the word. He's controlled and poised. And that's like he's the counterbalance to Banton in a way because Banton's energy is so good, but he can get out of control and turn the ball over. Downton doesn't turn the ball over. If anything, he gets you turnovers, and he's so controlled and poised. It's really, really helpful on the court. Okay, and then final possessions of the quarter here. Raptors get the ball back with a little more time on the game clock than they'd like. Really nice high screener roll with Precious here. Precious gets away with a bit of a walk here. And gets the roll. Seven points. Okay, and that's the way the first quarter ends. Next play up. Oh, I love this sequence. Okay, so Jeff's down low here in the paint. He has to set two screens. So I'm going to slow it down for you. Here's the first one. The bench is really testing him here. And here's the second screen. Boom. Good job. It did open up the man, but Scotty ends up looking for a, a mid-range here. I think he misses. But good screens by down. All right, on the defensive end, you'll see Jeff is top of your screen here. He's covering Najee Marshall. He's going to follow Najee through the paint. I think Trevor Gleason to tell you he'd like to see Eagles here. Raptors get lucky as Jonas takes an offensive foul. Yeah, I think operating with the benefit of hindsight, I think we'd like to see Jeff flare his Eagles as he crosses the paint there with Marshall, just to make it look like that lane doesn't exist. But I got to say bravo to Jeff to even sniff this out because Precious is in trouble on this screen. Okay, just a simple pass play here that ends in a charge, unfortunately. But watch the timing of it. He waits until Barnes is going through the lane so that perfect timing. Like, it's just a, an easy pass. Okay, this is the type of thing you don't see on a highlight reel. Watch him keep up to Najee Marshall here. He reverses directions, but Downton stays with him. And this allows OG not to help and jump a passing lane. Boom! That's all because Downton keeps up with Najee. Big, big play. Okay, next we get this nightmare scenario where Downton gets switched onto Jonas because of a good screen here, and the Pelicans set out to abuse it. So I like it until Precious commits as well. Like once OG comes over, we just don't need it, and Najee Marshall picks his, makes us pay. We overplay it. Okay, this next one starts with really good communication again right at the top. And then Jeff almost breaks up the DHO, the dribble handoff here. 
Raptors did a good job on dribble handoff all night, actually, against the Pelicans. So he almost takes away the ball, and then he gets called on this veteran play by C.J. McCullough. And Jeff doesn't agree with it. What do you guys think? Is this a foul? Good play by C.J. That's tough. That's a tough call. Speaking of veteran plays by C.J., watch this, how he uses Precious's body to screen down in here. There. See that? Jeff gets through it nicely, keeps him on his hip. Boom! And it's blocked away. Now, Boucher leaves it for Ananobi. One thing I was really impressed by is Downton avoiding these switches onto Valanciunas. Watch how he just dips down ahead of Najee. It's such a simple thing, and yet it keeps our team out of so much trouble. Okay, I heard Will Lou talk about this one and just say, ah, it's just a normal layup. But watch the little fake he gives him. It's like a Tom Brady fake play here. Boom. Before CJ knows it, Downton's just bursting by him. Great little fake. He and Ananobi, even though... Everybody was. So yeah. was Van Vliet. So was Pascal Siakam. Well, Van Vliet's a restrict, unrestricted free agent. Three ball coming up short. Okay, we're out in transition. Watch. This is one of my favorite things about Jeff Downton. Watch the little hand signal he throws Scotty on this set play. He just says, hey, don't bother bringing it over here. Did you catch it? Absolutely love this kind of stuff. Because it just says, hey, get to the next action. I'm covered. And then he got a couple minutes with Yak where he just didn't get rotated off. Nurse, Nurse just left him in. Makes a great cut here. JV covers the passing lane, but great cut. Yeah, Nurse just left him on. Oh, here he is back on CJ again. You tell me if this is a foul. CJ contacts. He'll shoot two. So they're getting to the free throw line. And we talk about this all the time. CJ's so good at this. Feeling the contact, and the moment that you feel the contact, don't take another dribble. Definitely another tough call. Next thing you know, Downton's out here with four starters, and he recognizes that Scotty has just tagged JV, so he does the closeout. Good IQ play. Speaking of IQ, here he recognizes if he beats Alvarado, Pirtle only has to out-rebound Nance. Puts it high off window. Doesn't even care if he's going to score. Just puts it high off window. Great play. Okay, on this one, Gary kind of throws it away in transition here. And coming back the other way, he spaces towards Alvarado, which is smart because I think the bench was telling him like, hey, no more transition threes. So just that little bit of movement shows intelligence. So there's a reason we're breaking this down today. And that's because Downton played almost the entire second quarter plus some of the first. So he was on the court with four starters for a good chunk of the second quarter. Like, super impressive outing for Downton and very quiet on the stat sheet. So just the type of thing, you saw Wancho do that earlier in the season and everyone says Wancho was shit. So it's the type of thing the coaching staff loves to see. With two minutes to go in the third, Downton comes back out and he starts picking up the Pelicans ball handlers in the full court, which is something he's very good at. You can tell he got instructed to do that tonight. Great spacing. He's just such a sound player. Here's just a simple imbalance play that Gary really should have scored on. Yikes, Gary. Chris almost actually tips it in, which is crazy. Okay, and here we've come full circle. Remember the play where I said he had no gravity? This is the exact same play. So they're really pressuring Pascal with the ball. So Downton goes across court, tries to get some attention. No one goes to him, no gravity. P knows it, notices. Downton takes a shot. Watch this, great tip by P, follows his rebound, easy bucket, Boucher, great pass. Awesome. Okay, and then here the exact opposite happens. He takes the ball, uses the screen, he takes both guys with him, tons of gravity. Open shot for Boucher, great play. Simple, simple, simple. Uh, this one's ugly, this is just a blown coverage and CJ's left alone. Now CJ wide open on the wing, got it. All right, it pretty much turns to Scotty and Jakob Pertl experimental pick and roll after that, and Downton just becomes a floor spacer. Uh, at 8.18 in the fourth, he checks out with a score 98-90. So a very good outing for Jeff Downton. The game. <laughs> good job, Jeff. <laughs> How did it feel to be out there? Um, you know, it felt great. Um, yeah, definitely just coming off a break. Um, it was a, a big win, great team effort. Um, it just feels good to come off a break and get a win. Is there anything like that you were working on specifically, or like looking to to add to the to the team immediately when you got on the court? Yeah, um, you know, just defense, um, picking up 94 feet, you know, guarding the ball, just putting pressure on the defense, um, just making, uh, uh, just being disruptive, trying to get a passing lane, do whatever I can to stop the other team from scoring. That's kind of been the main focus for me, and that's pretty much how I'm 
um, you know, get minutes on the court. So just defensive focus. Um, you know, just worry about uh, what, what you can control, the intangibles. Um, you know, when my name is called, uh, I'm always ready. <laughs> my name is called, I'm always going to be ready. Um, even if your name is not called, you know, you always just, you know, anticipate that, you know, of course, might just throw you in there any time. So I'm always prepared. Um, I think, you know, just practice, you know, playing the game the right way has prepared me for, you know, whatever opportunity I get. What was it like to get that extended first shift? You know, that stuck with you. No, it felt good. Uh, you know, I guess uh, I was continue to get defensive stops, and um, you know, just coaches kept me out there. So, kind of just you know, keep playing consistent, keep doing what um, whatever they want me to do, and um, I guess that'll give me more minutes. You had several possessions uh, defending CJ. Uh, you know, he's got so many different like feints and like, moves. Like, what are the keys to defending a guy? I'm um, just gotta make him uncomfortable. Um, you know, a guy like that, you know, a lot of different moves in his arsenal. Just try to make him a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, try to make him. Uh, make him hit tough shots, uh, try to you know, take away a lot of his spots and just make sure he doesn't get to a rhythm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a workaholic, you know, I'm going to be in the gym 24-7 constantly, you know, getting work and getting extra reps and doing things like that. And it's great, you know, being around a lot of guys that, uh, you know, are the same way as me or even, uh, you know, more competitive just in the fact that, you know, there's guys in the gym, you know, I'm going to get in the gym too. Just keep, continue to get that extra work in. What uh, were you hoping to see from Jeff tonight in that sort of guard off the bench role? Yeah, listen, I just think that he's um, really solid and he's been really solid for us all year. Um, really competes defensively. Got a little bit of burst to the rim in the pick and roll. Um, and I thought he was excellent tonight. And for, in fact, his first stretch was, you know, it was extra long because he was playing so well, right? I mean, I, don't, I think it pushed up close to 12 minutes, maybe. Yeah, 11, 12 minutes. So that's. That's pretty good for a guy who hasn't played all that much for us. So he's he's solid. He gives us another ball handler, another organizer. Where he really helps us, though, is on the defensive end. He makes plays down there. So that's it. We finally got our wish and got some Raptors big club run for Jeff Downton Jr. And he didn't disappoint. The coaching staff had to leave him on longer. That is a very tedious way to edit, guys. I'm not going to lie to have to go through clip by clip but super fun for me to do. It is tedious, so make sure you like and subscribe, and don't forget, it's all about the Larrys. Cheers. This is Chef's Kiss Approved. Mwah! <laughs>